Good day, students. In preparation for selecting your courses for next school year, we are going to review the graduation requirements. You will also be learning how to read a transcript and complete your credit checklist. We'll be going through the process step by step to help you choose your classes wisely. First, let's review the State of Hawaii graduation requirements brochure. You have a copy in your STARS Google Classroom to refer back to later. The table on the left outlines the various requirements for graduation. To the right of the table, there is an explanation of various certificates you can earn beyond the basic high school diploma. We will now go over all the different parts separately. Looking at the table on the left, English is the first category. You must earn a total of four credits. You may notice that the table in the brochure only lists 2.5 specific English credits. In brief, you earn the four credits by passing your grade 9, 10, 11, and 12 English classes. When we look at the registration forms during the next stars, we'll look closely at our options for grade 11 and 12 English. For now, just be aware that you need to earn four credits in English. If you didn't pass an English class, you will need to retake it. Social studies also requires four credits. With specific credits earned in World History, 1 credit, U.S. History, 1 credit, Modern History of Hawaii, 0.5 credit, and Participation in Democracy, 0.5 credit. For your senior year, you'll get to choose from several social study courses. As with the English classes, a failed social studies course will need to be taken again. Let's plan to pass every class the first time you take it, okay? Only three credits are required for math, two of which must be Algebra 1 and Geometry. However, if you are planning to attend college, you should take a fourth year of math to be better prepared for the math classes that will be required to earn your degree. Yes, even English majors are required to take math in college. Science requires three credits, as well with one being in biology. Once again, if you're planning to attend college, it is strongly recommended you take a fourth science course in your senior year. Once again, even non-science majors are required to take science courses in college. The next category can sometimes be confusing, but I'm here to walk you through it. You must earn two credits in any one of the following categories, World Language, or Fine Arts, or Career Technical Education, otherwise known as CTE, or JROTC. In World Language, the two credits must be in the same world language, such as Hawaiian 1 and 2, Spanish 1 and 2, or Japanese 1 and 2. Same for CTE, the two credits must be in the same pathway, such as Public Human Services Pathway and Culinary 1. For Fine Arts, you can mix and match the credits if you want, such as taking General Art and Dance, or you can take two years in a single area, such as Ceramics 1 and 2. For JROTC, you can meet this graduation requirement by taking two years of JROTC. Again, this graduation requirement means that you earn two credits in any one of these areas, not all four. Stay with me, people. We are almost done reviewing the graduation brochure. One credit in PE is obtained with half a credit in 9th grade PE, and another half credit in 10th grade PE of a course of your choice, such as physical fitness, lifetime activities, individual slash dual sports, or swimming. People, if you sign up for swimming, please be sure you are willing to swim, even if the class is the first thing in the morning. If not, choose something else. Please be aware that weight training and team sports do not meet PE graduation requirements, but they do count for general electives, which we will discuss just in a moment. Health, today and tomorrow, generally taken in your 10th grade year, fulfills the 0.5 credit in health. Yeehaw! Electives! Finally the section where you get to have more choice. Six elective credits are required. Please be aware that in addition to the two electives in a world language, Fine Arts, CTE, Path, or JROTC. And finally, a half credit for your personal transition plan, aka the PTP, which is earned when you successfully complete your PTP. Yes, the PTP is a graduation requirement at any public high school in the state of Hawaii. My young friends, it is not something we just dreamed up to keep you from enjoying life. When you add up all these credits, you get a total of 24. Before we take a brief brain break, there's one more item we need to discuss. Honors Recognition Certificates. These show that you have gone above and beyond the basic graduation requirements. If you plan on having a cumulative GPA of 3.0 or above, please be sure to read the requirements specific to each certificate. In addition to the certificate, students who earn this recognition traditionally receive an awesome cord to wear at commencement, making the ceremony extra special for them and their families. The DOE is offering a Seal of Biliteracy certificate for students who demonstrate proficiency in both the state's two official languages, English and Hawaiian, or in either one of the two states' languages and one additional language, including American Sign Language. For more information, please contact your counselor, a world language teacher, or go to the website provided on screen. Wow, that was a lot of information. 
we're now going to take a 3 minute break to refresh and re-energize before we get back into reading a transcript and filling out your credit checklist. During this time, please get up and stretch, have a drink of water, take some deep breaths, and move around a bit. When the music stops, please be sure to bring back your attention. For the next part of today's lesson, you'll be learning how to read your transcript. As you can see on this slide, it provides necessary information to help you choose your classes for next school year. Your counselor has sent you an email with your transcript attached. You'll be using it later in this lesson to complete your credit checklist. For now, we'll be going over each part of the transcript, so you can see how it will help you choose your classes wisely. This is what a typical transcript looks like. Your transcript may have more courses listed in the left column, depending on your grade level. Let's look at the various parts of the transcript. At the top of the page, you will find your demographic information including your name, date of birth, and student ID. The bottom of your transcript shows all the courses you have taken. They are grouped by the year the courses were taken, along with the title of the course, ACCN number, grade, and credit earned. The total credits earned at the end of the year is also indicated. For registration purposes, you will want to pay special attention to the course title, letter, grade, and credit earned. The credit summary column can be a bit confusing at first glance. The rec column shows which courses and credits are required for graduation. The comp column shows which credits you have already completed. The ink column shows which credits you still need to earn. The very bottom shows your total credits earned as well as how many more you need to graduate. Remember, in order to be promoted to the next grade level, one must earn a minimum of 5 credits for 10th grade, 11 credits for 11th grade, and 17 credits for 12th grade. Ultimately, a total of 24 specific credits are needed to graduate and earn a high school diploma. Using the graduation requirement checklist, you will be able to analyze your transcript to see if you are on track for graduation. This is also a key step in preparing to choose your classes for next school year. 
Please follow the steps as I go through them, so you can understand how to complete each part. Just as a reminder, this form is a requirement for your PTP. So after today's starts class, you will have completed one PTP requirements, as well as gotten a good start on preparing to choose your classes. The first part is English, as mentioned earlier. Four credits must be earned in total. Refer to your transcript and locate under your ninth grade year, English Language Arts 1. Write in the grade and credit you earned, for example, grade C, credit 1, under the ninth column, as shown. For your current in-progress classes, write in the grade and credit you plan on earning by the end of this semester for semester classes or school year for year-long classes. Now look at the Social Studies section. For most of you, World History and Culture is taken in ninth grade. In this case, a grade of C and one credit were earned. Remember, for your current classes, indicate the grade and credit you plan on earning by the end of this school year. With math, you will have taken either Mao, Alg 1, or Geometry during your ninth grade year. If you took Mao, write in the block below Alg 2. Those of you who earned your Alg 1 credit during 8th grade, fill in both Alg 1 and Geometry under 9th grade. If you retook a failed course, place it under the year you passed it. Note, Math Workshop counts as an elective, do not write it here. Now for science. If you took environmental science during your 9th grade, you can edit your checklist by replacing the word physical with environmental. Please remember that you have some choice in science classes, but biology is required for graduation, as with all categories for your current classes. Put the grade and credit you plan to earn by the end of the school year. For this category, remember that the two credits need to be from the same specified program of study, freshman. Don't worry if you're not taking a world language, fine arts, CT, or JROTC class this year. You can sign up for one when we choose during our next stars. Sophomores and juniors, please pay close attention to this section. If you aren't sure what course you might need to take next year to meet this requirement, please contact your counselor. Please note that the courses are worth 0.5 credit because they are semester courses. Reminder, team sports and weight training count as elective credits, not PE basic elective. We'll get to the elective section soon. The 0.5 credit for your PTP will be issued the semester you complete it. Just know that this is a graduation requirement. You must successfully complete your PTP in order to earn a diploma and participate in the graduation ceremony. Many classes assist in completing the PTP, but dedicated time will be provided in the 11th grade year during STARS. For those of you who have already completed your PTP, awesome! Put the letter S and 0.5. All other courses that do not fall under any category above should be listed under electives. In the example shown, transitions to high school and team sports 1 and 2 are listed. Math Workshop and English Lab classes also count as electives. If you aren't sure what category a class is considered, please contact your counselor. Final step. For the bottom section of your checklist, please total the credits you earned for each year. Freshman, you will again put the total number of credits you plan to earn by the end of the school year. Sophomores and juniors, in addition to the total credits for each year, add up the total cumulative credits you've earned to be sure you are on track for meeting promotion and graduation requirements. KBikes will be featuring various courses, so stay tuned. Keeping track of your own grades and credits will help ensure graduation in four years. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact your counselor immediately. And that's the end of the presentation. Thanks for watching!